Oh, He's so chubby. Look at his chub that he has. His face is just chubby. It is. He's just a chubby goat. He's so big. And there's three peas. And then baby Finley. Yeah, it's Finley. Finley. We have a fitness in Finley. I'm always getting them switched. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Hi, baby. Baby. Hello. Hello. So, yeah. Mom, what's the name for this one? Have you decided a name for this one yet? We haven't. What do you think would be a good name for that one? Oreo. Uh, too simple. Too common. Talked about Kristoff and Spin. I don't like that as much. Olaf. Olaf. No. He's not white. <laughs> he's too white. No, he's not. He's not plain solid, white. Not solid white. Yeah, if it was solid white, I would consider it. Olaf. <laughs> She's just like, he's like, where's my mama? So we thought we'd do a quick goat update for you guys. Yeah, you can see our babies are alive and well and cute as ever. And that one right there is the one that was having trouble nursing and all of that. And then mama rejected him. Wouldn't let him nurse, but we went ahead and put him out there with her anyway. So to ensure that that one would nurse, we, we, we've been coming out here four or five times a day and having to put nutmeg up on the milk stand and then put him up there and let him nurse. And just a little bit ago, Michael was in the barn and he said that he saw the black and white one nursing. So I guess nutmeg's starting to let him nurse, which is good news. But we're still going to keep a close eye because we're still not quite sure if she's a 100% accepted him or not. But that's what we've been doing. Nanny, you're baby. so cute. You're just so lovable. Yes. I still cannot believe she had a black and white one. I can't either. It's just awesome. The whole entire time we've been breeding her, it's always been two brown ones. Always mm -hmm. two. Always two brown ones. The exact same. And they're either two males or two females, but they're usually mm -hmm. never... Like a male and female. Maybe one time, but this time we got two males out, out of her. So. Oh. So. He's like, are you guys my mama? So what do you want to name him? Loki? Loki? I was thinking we can name one Loki and one Moki. Loki and Moki. Loki and Moki. I like that. It's just which one would be which? Oh! They're getting so <laughs> playful! I love when they scamper around. So, string bean, do you think Loki and Moki would be cute? Loki and Moki, yes. But, but which one to be which? Um, that one, the brown one's Loki and the other one's Moki. Okay, I like that. So, can we keep Moki as a pet? Maybe? We'll think about it. Or can we at least keep him? If he's not going to be a pet, can we at least keep him as like a reader or something? For like Maybe. Sweet Pea or... Um, we could possibly. We just need to get kind of revise our goat herd. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like they're wanting to go back to the barn. So it's probably time to put them up. So we just thought we'd give you a little update on our goats. They're doing good and we're so happy that they're, that one's starting to nurse and everything like that. So, um, 
guess we'll go for now and we'll see you next video. I really like Moki and Loki for them. Me too.